miss this. This is so crazy. We're back. All right. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Welcome back. Season two, Live in Effect. This is Victor Dandridge here for Unconventional. Vantage In-House Productions is bringing you some of the crazy ideas about the comic industry. We're coming back from the studio. We've got James back in the building. Yay, we missed him so very much and we missed you guys. So we're jumping right back into the thick of things and we're gonna start talking about conventions. And there's some of the things that I've learned in my time doing these things that might be a little helpful. Are you a person that is fairly fresh into the industry, not necessarily making a lot of ways? Then you can just go ahead, put down your dollars and get you a table and showcase. Showcase your artwork, your new book, whatever it, it is that you have to put out into the world. But say you wanna actually kinda of start to move up, build your name, build some recognition a little bit. The thing that you gotta do is actually start meeting more people. I don't mean the other guests, I don't mean other artists or creators, I mean the actual convention workers. Find out who the admin people are. Find out who runs Artist Alley. Get in good with those guys because these are the guys that make or break whether or not you appear at their show. And they're also sometimes the guys that decide whether or not you get to do so as a guest, as a feature guest, special guest, or some sort of noteworthy thing that gets you either you know a free table, a discounted table, or something like that. In fact, anytime that you have something that you can offer to a show, see if you can't leverage that into some sort of you know trade or barter that can actually get you a bit more ground amongst the entire con circuit. You'd be surprised. I mean, a lot of these guys, they talk, um, and if you have this on your resume, it does carry through. So there's something for you to consider. Mike Negan from Read Pop, he handles everything from C2E2 to the New York Comic Con. I love Mike, he's an awesome guy. On the Wizard World side, there's a whole list of folks that I talk to on a regular basis, whether that's Chris Jansen who heads programming, uh, you've got Donna who, who handles like Artist Alley, Jenna, uh, oh my God, Courtney, so many different people. So the thing is to really introduce yourself as both the creator and a longtime person. The whole game here is about investing and you wanna invest in something long-term, make sure people know who you are and offer as much as you possibly can so that way you're not just a vendor, but you're actually an integral part of their success and they will be an integral part of yours. So think that through, try to be as unconventional about it as possible. I'll see you soon.